Hello Avid Royal Watchers, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Queen Elizabeth II is extremely fond of her grandson Prince Harry and was delighted by the arrival of her son Archie Harrison last year. Baby Archie will spend his first birthday away from his great-grandmother in Los Angeles with his parents Meghan Markle and Harry. The Queen surprised royal fans by sharing a public birthday message for baby Archie on the royal family's official Twitter account. This gesture is usually reserved for senior members of the firm and came as a surprise in the wake of Harry and Meghan's royal step-down. Other less senior royals such as Zara Tyndall did not usually receive public birthday messages from the Queen, so following the Sussex's move abroad, it was expected this would also be the case for baby Archie's big day. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry relinquished their royal roles in the hope of pursuing a more peaceful life outside the royal bubble. Following their step down at the end of March, it was agreed with the Queen that they would no longer use the word royal in association with their work. This means the Queen seemed unlikely to promote Archie's birthday via an official Twitter account. Instead, the royal family Twitter account posted, Happy birthday to Archie Mountbatten Windsor, who is celebrating his first birthday today. Archie is the Queen's eighth great-grandchild. The public post comes as the Queen misses out on her newest great-grandchild's first big milestone, his first birthday. The Queen is spending lockdown at Windsor Castle with Prince Philip, and the couple are expected to be based there for the foreseeable future. While lockdown measures have been keeping royal family members apart, the Queen has been keeping in touch with her close ones with regular video calls. The Queen marked her 94th birthday on April 21st, and is understood to have received a call from Prince Harry, Meghan and Archie to wish her well on a special day. The Queen is likely to return the gesture on Wednesday and make a video call to wish baby Archie a happy birthday in Los Angeles. While Archie is still a treasured family member, neither he nor his parents are official working royals, which means his birthday is a private occasion. Meghan and Harry are expected to mark Archie's birthday behind closed doors at their LA home. However, there is speculation they will mark Archie's milestone by sharing a new photo of him with the public. A spokeswoman for the couple told the Sunday Times, you can expect to see him. Where and how they decide to share a new photo has not been confirmed and some believe they could use Archie's special day as an opportunity to launch a new Instagram account. The couple bid an emotional farewell to their 11 million Sussex Royal Instagram followers ahead of their royal withdrawal at the end of March. While Meghan and Harry outlined their wish to be partly based in North America last January, January, they were expected to return to the UK to visit the Queen last summer. The Sunday Times reported the couple had accepted the invitation from the Queen to visit her at Balmoral during the summer break. However, the coronavirus pandemic will have written off the young family's international travel plans. The Queen and Prince Philip are particularly vulnerable to the virus because of their age and will have to continue isolating at Windsor Castle until the government gives elderly people an all clear. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.